what's up everybody welcome to my channel pretty over here to read your emergency room messages what needs to be addressed in your your energy immediately what cannot wait um a lot of the times you guys we have spiritual issues that manifest themselves as mental and physical issues so i'm here to bridge the gap during this reading um throughout the reading i will be making recommendations for how you can attack these issues head on if you yourself have a recommendation for how how someone else can attack these issues head on please post it in the comments as we all learn from each other um you guys my reversible soap and my cinnamon soap and my love and attraction soap is um going to be listed on my website uh which is going to be linked below okay um there's only one of each of these left okay um also my seven plants bath um this bath this bath brings on blessings okay positivity to your aura so i just wanted to tell you guys about that um you're watching this video if you're a Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus. You're also watching this video if you need answers about a Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus. You guys, first of all, um, I would get heart chakra crystals, okay? Um, uh, Malachite, Moldavite. Moldavite is very strong. You gotta be like, <laughs> you know, you gotta be ready for some type of transformation um, to happen in your life. And it's a very high vibrational crystal, okay? Somebody needs to sleep with it. I don't know who that is, all right? But um, you got to be ready for that. So you guys might want to do some research about that. Um, you guys, please, um, I'm, I'm feeling like there's someone that's try something that's trying to manipulate you, okay? And I really feel like with the trust in the physical position, it's like you're, you're allowing it. For some of you guys, it's like you're allowing it. I don't know if this is a love interest or what, but it's just like, you know... It, Stay anchored in your body. You guys need to stay grounded, right? Because it's like you are, I, I feel like somebody is, something is taking the lead, mastering your heart, something, but you are embracing this energy, right? You're embracing this energy. Is this energy positive? Is this a positive um, individual or a, a positive um, vibe, energy? For some of you guys, you're having heartburn, okay? Another thing, too, I'm really feeling like if you guys are having heart palpitations and you're feeling it when you're getting ready to go to sleep, you might want to do meditation with, with a green crystal, okay? Um, Because I do feel like whatever this energy is, it's vampiristic. You may, for some of you guys that are on the right side of karma in this situation, right? That is not allowing this, that doesn't want this, right? Um, This... You could be a loving, kind, gentle person, empathetic, right? And whoever or whatever this is, is demonic or narcissistic or what have you, right? Vampiristic. And it's trying to take from your heart. You guys could be experiencing heartburn. I feel like some of you guys are even being spied on by this individual or whatever this is. For some of you guys, you guys, that someone, someone has been playing around with like a messy bun and like taking like letting tendrils, like letting, you know, taking the two little um, baby hair, maybe things on the side. And, you know, I think you guys are some of you guys are um, focusing on your natural hair hair. Look at that. Regeneration and chop wood. Okay. For some of you guys, all right, you know, you could be working on um trying to um master your thoughts, your emotions, and stuff like that. But then on the other hand, I really feel like there is someone or, or something around you that is trying to um burn down or collapse the foundation of how you already think and trying to impose their thoughts and feelings onto you, okay? And you figure out, you know, what, what side of that you're on. But I really would um, say that you guys should have like a piece of amethyst, um, lapis lazuli, something to work on your communication. Because if this is a person who, um, you know, you, I, I feel an energy of, you know, like, like this, whatever this is has authority or something, all right? 
And so the lapis lazuli is going to help you to communicate with this individual. You don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. I don't know why I feel like saying that. This person could be like in your family or something like that. You know, or, you know, just in your, in your circle. Um, <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. This is becoming susceptible to something. Letting your guard down or not defending yourself, right? I, it, this, is, this is what I don't like about it, okay? I really feel like this is something you need to defend yourself against. I'm not getting a good energy um, mentally from this. I, I don't know what this is. This is a person, some type of energy or what? But it's making, for some of you guys, it's making you feel like however you used to think or whatever you used to do is not right or something. Or. Mm. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. I feel like the reason why you, you're not peaceful in this situation is because you don't really want to do whatever this is. Or you don't want to give your... Um, I feel like you're giving your authority up in some ways. Well, you see with this, you see this like jumping out the window. I'm feeling like... Uh, you, um, just... Be allowing, spreading your wings, just allowing something like uh, to to manipulate you maybe with the master of the heart here. Whatever this person or this energy is, is like working on your on your mental. For some of you, like I said, that are on the other side of this, um. <clears throat> It's about letting God in, right? But I really feel an energy. I don't like the way I feel. It doesn't feel good, okay? It doesn't feel good. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. And support will arrive as well as answers, right? I really feel like you guys, you know, should be... Um, you know, calling on God with this energy, like al allowing God to take control over this situation. Not a person, not a, not another energy, um, but God, the most high, right? This is the only thing you should be allowing to master your heart. This is the only thing you should be embracing, right? Because any, and another thing too, with this regeneration energy, right? In the third eye chakra, in the rebuild here, I feel like some of you may even be feeling a little bit crazy, right? Um, this could be awakening energy as well. But I feel like whatever old system you used to have, it is coming down. And for some of you guys, whether that was good or bad, whether it was a good system or a, 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 if it was a good system, then this is, then you don't need to accept anything else. But if it was bad, then yes, I see, you know, you accepting an external um, energy, God, whatever, in, in, into your consciousness to fix this. Okay? But I'm looking at this from both ways. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, or Libra as well. Because I feel like in the, in the spiritual position, it's like something is, something is driving you. Maybe, you know, your old system or your old way of thinking or your old thought forms, right? Maybe it wasn't working for you and now you're trying to rebuild and take on another form of thinking, right? Or is it that you were thinking one way and there's someone who wants to manipulate you, okay? You guys figure out where you, where you stand on that. Light a purple candle for those of you who's going through some type of, uh, you know, with your third eye, going through something where it's like, um, 
you know, you're confused or I really, I feel like someone closed their eyes and they just saw like a kaleidoscope of things just in their third eye. This has a lot to do with awakening, but you really want to be making sure that the things that you are seeing, thinking, hearing, okay, are from source, positive influence, right? The most high. And so you would get a piece of amethyst, a piece of selenite, a piece of angelite, stones that connect you with the angels, crystals that connect you with the angels, praying to the most high, lighting purple candles and praying on them for protection of your third eye. Somebody's feeling anxiety and being controlled by something or someone. Okay. You see what I'm saying? The yin is receiving energy. What are you receiving? What are you receiving? What this orphan in imagine, it's like somebody's in the sunken place. I feel that. Right? And with the mending, there's something trying to connect to your energy. There's something or someone trying to connect to your energy. With the co-creating new life, who are you co-creating with, Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Who are you co-creating with? Who is this energy that, you're, that you are cooperating with? Because either this is good or, or this could be good if it's a positive um, energy or it could go bad. Okay, either way, you're in the energy of new life, a new, a new way of thinking, a new thought form. Is that good or bad, Scorpio? I don't know, but it needs to be addressed immediately. Okay. What is it? What is this energy? What is this co-creative energy? Hmm. You see what I'm saying? This may have to do with an Aquarius or an Earth sign, right? An Aquarius just had um something where some someone was trying to manipulate them. All right. This was that sunken place energy too. Okay. You guys really want to stay grounded, get grounded crystal. Stay, keep your soul in your body. Keep your mind, keep yourself rooted and grounded. Okay. Because I really feel like this could be, um, a, 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 a King of Pentacles character, a, 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 a male energy who is controlling and domineering, okay? I really feel like it. I feel he's trying to manipulate you. For some of you guys, um, this could be positive and this could be a spirit guide who is an earth sign, maybe an ancestor or something like that. But like I said, you guys, you have to get in where you fit in um, during this time. Is it positive or negative? Only, only you guys know um, better than I do about your, about your particular situation, right? Somebody is, somebody or something is an Eastern star or a, a something, all right? You dealing with somebody who, who's Masonic, ugh, um, you know, I'm not judging, I'm not judging, okay? But an Eastern star or something. Some of you guys have, somebody has gotten themselves in some type of spiritual um, cult or community or something, Okay? And I really feel like it's not going to turn out to be good, okay? I, I do, I do. Because whatever your belief system was before this, I feel like they are, or whatever this is, is trying to break that down as if it wasn't good enough or something like that, okay? If this was good, I don't feel like it would be in, um, in the emergency room. I don't. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in compassionately. Identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. There's something about your heart chakra that really needs to be worked on, you guys. If, I don't know if it's blocked or you're allowed. This is, there's something about your heart chakra that really needs to be worked on. Okay, for some of you guys, I feel like 
there's somebody who's saying, this is my king. This is my king. And, and in particular, you know, this is not going to be for everybody. But I feel like the way you're, you're, you're showing this person that you love them because of your fear of intimacy, you may be allowing them to stake a claim on you, okay? You guys may want to get you some rose quartz crystals and keep yourself in a sea salt bath. Keep yourself in spiritual baths and constantly cleansing and grounding your energy, okay? Because your energy is yours. You don't belong to anyone, all right? This is somebody's love language is to let um, their partner dominate them or to let to allow their partner to. Um... This is not the way to do it. OK, I'm picking that up. This is not the way to do it. With the love abound, spread your wings and trust. Here you go again. Um, and, uh, you know, you guys, it's like it's like allowing something. It's, it's I, I feel OK. It's one thing to trust something in someone. But I feel like if this isn't God. then you don't need to be um, sacrificing yourself, I feel. Uh, that sacrificial type energy aura. I'm giving myself to you, right? But it doesn't seem positive. If it's not God, it's not positive, right? And with the lover bounce here, it's like, it's like this is a lover, I feel. Some of you, yeah, I don't... Mm -mm, mm -mm. You guys stay stay rooted and grounded. Do not let anything or anyone, any type of entity or any person, any any group overtake you, okay? Some of you guys, I feel like you guys are running. Look at that. Higher power. Okay. Higher power. Her third eye is open and connected. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is positive. This is positive, right? But then I don't like that face right there. Like, I don't know if this person or this thing is presenting itself to you as positive, but it really isn't. Like, I want to feel, I want to feel positive about this, but I don't. Right. But you guys would know what side what side of the coin you're on. Right. Because another in another way, it's like this person could be presenting themselves to you as a higher power. Burn black candles, you guys, because black absorbs negativity. OK. Put protection oil on a purple candle. Because if this is not, if this is not um, positive and it's presenting itself, itself to you as positive, then you want to make sure that you're connected with the universe, God, source, spirit, the most high, and let them know, look, I don't want any negativity, okay? I'm not accepting any negativity. I have positive intentions, okay? Look at this. Soulmates. Look at that. I... I I don't like the way I feel like something is trying to connect to your energy. I don't like it. And I feel like it's a, it's the energy of someone who you are in a, in a relationship with or somebody that feels like they own you or something. For some of you guys, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of, 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 of belts. Of, of your, maybe your belt is too tight and it's causing heartburn or whatever. I don't know why I just feel like giving up and like sacrifice. I don't know why I feel like it's just, you know, an energy of sacrifice, right? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have not for you. And I didn't think it was. Okay. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. Yeah, there's some type of, some of you guys could have entered into some type of community, spiritual community, could be some, for some of you guys, it's like you're watching, in particular, some of you guys are watching a spiritualist or something like that um, on TV or, or YouTube or something like that, this, this is not for you, right, this community, this way of thinking, whatever this is, this new thought form, all right, this new, um, it's not for you, for some of you. And, and, and for those of you who know what I'm talking about, this is not for you. I don't know if it's a new church or something. But I feel like it's something you, 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 you um, gave an oath to. 
I feel the energy of an oath. Or this could be this person and what they're involved in. All right? This person you're being physical with. This person you're sleeping with. Yeah, look at that. With the eight of wands reversed, this is, I don't feel like this is the kind of energy that you want to um, allow into your life. But I see you, I see for some of you guys that you're allowing it. Yeah, it's a lot of illusions surrounding this, you guys. It's a lot of illusions surrounding this new way of thinking or this new group. Okay? Be careful about um, groups that you're getting into on Facebook. Okay? Spiritual groups as well. It's a lot of illusions. Do not give your willpower up to any type of external source. Anything but God. Right? You do not have to take on anybody's um, thinking. It's like seeing something on somebody on TV, a spiritualist or something that you idolize in, and yet now you're like, you're saying like, hmm, I'm going to start to think like this person. Keeps ex um, self-acceptance, okay? Nobody's better than you. I don't know why I feel like, I feel like this is, you know, I feel the need to say that. What is this? Surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Look at her. She's wearing a, a, a blindfold. Okay? You guys keep selling night on you. Stay in your spiritual baths and pray to, uh, pray, um, to God for clarity and truth in this situation. Because I feel like there's something or somebody or religion or something that's presenting itself to you as positive and it's not. Or even a person presenting itself to you, themselves to you as positive, like they are the way to go. They have your best interests at heart and I don't see that here. Okay? I hope that helped you guys. 